Hello, Aquarius viewers. I'm going to look into your situation, um, especially regarding love. Just see what the cards want to say. See what's going on between you and another person. The Hermit reversed. Okay, so someone coming out of Hermit energy. I would say this is probably a person coming out of Hermit energy, coming towards you, wanting to communicate. Maybe there's been a long period of isolation. Maybe not, you guys aren't in communication, or if you are in communication, maybe they've just been sort of distant, cold, a little bit detached, um, afraid of getting hurt, not being completely honest with you about what's going on in their head, just the sense of emotional unavailability, but it's, it's good that the hermit is reversed, so they're coming out of that energy. And I just want to say I love this group that I channel, and if you're drawn to my video, if you're new here, there's a, there's a good chance that you're in this energy group. And the story I've been getting over the last few months is these these couples that have had past lives together, like very old souls, warrior spirits. Um, and, and the story is that most of you, your person had trauma regarding, pa regarding your past lives together. So you might have died violently in front of them or they found out about your death later and this would be during some sort of rebellion or you know I just get the sense of war uh famine um I, I keep getting a very strong sense of Irish and Scottish rebellions for at least two or three different couples here there could be some like Egyptian or Norse past lives as well because I, I do feel like those that are drawn to this you guys are very old souls like this is like a twin flame relationship, most likely. It could be a soulmate, but for most of you, I think I think this is your twin flame. And the story is just beautiful because it's like you guys have these past lives together. You've been through so you're both warrior spirits. You both have been through so much together. You guys have like led rebellions together. You've you've I got this sense of the main one of the main stories I, I get the sense of, but again, there's a few different ones if you're in this energy group. There's just specific messages that will come out for specific people watching, but it's it's the stories are similar, which is why you're drawn to this. And and there's one particular couple where I get the sense that God, I don't know if you were like a nurse or you were you were helping your person lead this rebellion. And you were you were off doing something and he was I see him in this room and he's he's got like these maps and stuff like he's he's got it all laid out on the table he's he's like strategizing how to how to take someone down or take like some sort of re some sort of rebellion he's he's strategizing with a group of other people about how their plan of attack and he's got these he's like a leader type too he's very very strong very mentally strong and then I see someone come in and inform him that you've died and it's like that was just it was traumatic. It was just traumatic for him. Like you, you die, you guys are fighting the same war, but like you were off doing something else. Like you went on some mission or something and then he was doing what he was doing. And then he gets, he gets, I hope I'm explaining this Mercury retrograde is messing my head up. Usually I can speak a little bit more clearly than this, but, but yeah, he, he got the, the notice that you, you had died and it was traumatic. And then there's also a couple other stories. I get just people that maybe, maybe they, um, maybe you died violently and tragically, like he was holding you while you were dying. I get that it's the person in masculine energy that, and this could be, this could be applied to gay and, and lesbian relationships as well. The, you know, there's always someone in, in masculine energy and someone in feminine energy. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with gender really. But the person in masculine energy was holding the person in feminine energy and, and it's like watching them die like there was is blood everywhere it's it's violent <laughs> it's violent but but I've I've so if this is your story if this resonates you might want to go back and look at some of my other Aquarius readings because I go into detail about why they act so strange around you like why do they keep ghosting you why do they keep shutting you out why are they so nervous and awkward around you why are they so scared of getting hurt I think that you've been trying to figure it out for a long time you're like why is my person so terrified of me why are they so terrified that I'm going to abandon them or hurt them why are they always pushing me away why are they always so guarded with me why are they so distrusting when I've done nothing wrong and you know I don't want to get into it too much in this video just because for the people that have been following me I don't want to tell the same story over and over again I want you guys to have a new story I can tell each 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 um month or each each two weeks but for those of you that are new I would go back and check those videos out 
because I really go into some deep te- detail about your past lives together and why that past life trauma has carried over to this lifetime. And that's why they keep sabotaging this because they're, they, they traumatized them. They lost you. They were the love of their love of their life. And they're so afraid of you dying again. Are you leaving them some form? You know, death is like the ultimate form of abandonment. And so they're so terrified of, of getting, feeling that heartbreak again, that they push you away this lifetime and they don't even understand why they're pushing you away. They just keep doing it. And it's, it's from that past life trauma. So I would go check this, those videos out if this is your story, definitely. Just so you can get a sense of, of why they're doing the things that they're doing, why they act so strange. But I have um, been getting a sense that they are becoming conscious of this. I don't know if they're necessarily becoming conscious that this is past life trauma, but the last video I was, I did, I was getting, um, like a leveling up for them. Like they were finally, they, they probably don't know why they're doing it unless they're spiritual. Like if they're a psychic, like you are, then maybe they are starting to figure it out. But for those that like, don't know about the past life stuff, like I, I don't think that they necessarily understand why they're doing it, but they understand that it's not okay anymore. They understand that this is a pattern that they want to change. And a lot of them, they need to do cord cutting or like someone needs to do cord cutting to end those past life patterns because they keep thinking that everything has to be a struggle. They like they're built for war, like everything just they have to fight, fight, fight. Like they can't just relax and just be happy with the simple things. And it's like they don't realize that this life doesn't have to be a battle for them anymore. And so they keep repeating those patterns and making everything so difficult when it doesn't need to be. But, but yeah, last reading I did, I was getting some good energy though. It's like they're, they're taking responsibility and they're becoming aware of like, you know, I don't want to do this to myself anymore. I don't want to do this to my person anymore. I don't know why I'm so afraid. I don't know why I keep sabotaging, but I know that I don't want to keep doing that. So they're coming in quick. They're getting out of hermit mode quickly. Like they're having some deep epiphanies right now where they're like, you know what? I've had enough of this. I've had enough of, of this nine of swords energy, this anxiety, this self-sabotage, the pain, the loneliness, the confusion, you know, they've had enough of that energy. They want to move fast. They want to move out of this. They're like, their life has been stagnant. And they're realizing, is one of your favorite movies Jerry Maguire? Because I just saw this scene. I just, it's so cheesy, but I just saw this scene where he's like, or freaking Tom Cruise. Oh my God, Tom Cruise is such a tool bag. He's hot, but he's a tool bag. I think we can, most of us can agree. But, but I saw this scene where Tom Cruise um like at the end where he comes in and he's like you complete me <laughs> and she's like shut up you had me at hello <laughs> oh my god it's cracking me up it's cute but it's cracking me up I see I saw that scene I'm like is that a message for one of you <laughs> did, she, did you watch that movie with your person or something oh my god I love that <laughs> or maybe it's just like an example of the energy like you had me at hello <laughs> It's cute, though. It really is cute. <laughs> but I just get a sense, like, they don't want to waste any more of their life without you in it. Like, that's coming through strong. Like, I hear someone's, like, DM or DF saying that, like, I don't want to waste any more of my life without you in it. Like, they want so badly to open up to you. I get that sense. Like, they really do love you. Like, they want so badly to to be vulnerable and open and it's, it's almost like, it's almost like traumatic for them in a sense. Cause it's, it's like, I just get this sense, like there's so much emotion that I feel like them blocking themselves, like their body language and, and their mannerisms. And like, like maybe they act kind of serious around you or they act like they have like a serious demeanor in general. Like they just don't, maybe they don't let themselves be goofy as much as they should for some of you. I just get a sense of like, it's like, it's rough. It's like they're creating so much stagnant energy inside themselves because they just like want to be vulnerable with you. They want to like cry. They want to like tell you how much they miss you, like, like cuddle up with you, love you, like be in that softer energy. And it's like, they're just so guarded and they're so distrusting and they don't even understand why they're distrusting. And it's like, it's all from this past life stuff. But I think they're finally being rational, though. They're finally like, you know what? I don't know why I'm being this way towards them, but like they haven't done anything wrong. Like they haven't, you know, they haven't done anything to hurt me. 
And they know it's not intuition saying that you're not trustworthy. Like they understand it's not their intuition. They know that they're, they know there's no reason not to trust you. Like they know, they know that they love you. They know that they feel good around you. They know that every part of their soul wants to be vulnerable with you. Every part of them wants to just cuddle up with you and be emotional with you and spend their lives with you. Like this is like a true love story. Like they know that on a very deep soul level, it's just their mind that keeps interfering, you know, their mind, like their fears and their anxieties, but they're coming through that. They're getting out of hermit mode. They're wanting to come in quick because they don't want to waste any more of their life. They're making a judgment call because they have choices to make and they're starting to really do, um, I mean, this is like an extension of the, the energy I was getting a couple weeks ago. You know, it's similar energy, except they've come further along than they were a couple weeks ago. Like they are progressing. They're not, I don't feel like they're going back. I feel like they're progressing steadily, even though it's a process. But with Southern of Cups here, it's like, you know, dreams, fantasies, illusions, fears, and it's, it's, it's introspection, it's contemplation, and it's, it's also making a choice. It's making a choice what path they want to go down. And like, look at the judgment call looking over here. It's like, they're making that judgment call separating their fears and their illusions from reality they're realizing that their fears don't have a strong base that they they they're gonna waste their life if they stay in this fearful energy like they get that the hangman reversed hmm The hangman is also, it's a lot of times it's about like new perspectives, like seeing things in a different way. And I almost feel like reversed. It's almost saying, because the hangman is also about like pause and reflection while they find that new perspective. And I almost feel like reversed. It's kind of saying, it goes along with the hermit card. See how it's right below it too. It's almost saying like they're out of, like they've, they've had that new perspective shift. They've had that energy shift already and they're seeing things differently and they're taking more responsibility and um, getting out of hermit energy. Yeah, they see you as their other half, this power couple, warrior. Um, they're the king of swords, the queen of, or you're the queen of swords. I mean, they're you're, they're the king of swords or they're the queen of swords. Either way. What's come? What's the death card is talking about? Um, two of Pentacles, like struggling to make a choice. They're not struggling anymore. I think they're, they, they made a decision and they see you as their other half. They see you as part of this power couple. It's been so hard for them because it's like they want to open up to them, open up to you. And it's like, they just feel like they have to be strong all the time. Like they have to be, maybe it's part of their upbringing too. Like maybe they were taught that they have to be, um, like overly masculine. Like they have to... They can't show their emotions. They have to be strong all the time. Everything has to be a battle. Like they've been carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. And I feel like that's what's coming to an end. Like they're ending that. They know that it's time to let this go, that they can't, like they, they don't know how to just have a happy, simple life, but like they want to learn how to. It's completely foreign to them. Like they have no idea what that would even look like, but they know that they don't want to carry the weight of the world on their shoulders anymore. They're exhausted. They're exhausted. They've been like stagnant and they're coming out of stagnancy finally. They are exhausted for sure. Yeah, Ten of Cups, you guys, you guys have some good energy here. Knight of Pentacles, see, so they're coming in. They're coming in steady. Like this is someone who's really doing the inner work. Like they're really, um, they're really, I feel like this person is very self-disciplined. Like I get like a very strong, like could be someone in like the military or just like a very strong like warrior type energy here. And I feel like with Nine of Pentacles, it's a knight that comes in slowly, but they come in steady. Like they actually have done their inner work. They've done the shadow work. They've, they're going through a process of self-mastery. They know what they are. They know what they want. It's not like the knight that just comes in really quickly, you know, when they're lonely and bored and gives you this love offer and then ghosts you when when something better comes along or you know what I mean when they think something better comes along or when they are when they you know you know how it is this is someone who's like thought about you a lot who's really weighed the pros and cons and like decided like made this decision that they want you like they've made that like like they have clarity they have certainty so it's like they're coming forward slowly but like it's steady it's it's like the most stable night 
It's, it's a stronger foundation. Like they've actually thought about this for a while. They've actually done the work they need to do so that when they do finally come in, they're actually, if they, if they do finally come in, they're presenting you a stable love offer. They've been in an eight of swords energy and now they're starting to wake up and realize eight of swords. Traditionally, it's like there's swords all around and there's an opening right in front of them and they can't see it because they're just blinded. And now they're realizing there's a way out. Could be financial too for some of them. Maybe they've had financial difficulties that have been making them feel insecure and they're realizing that there's a, a more positive way for them to make money. Like could be like a coworker or business partner. This could be you as well, but it, it could be um, like financially they felt insecure and now they just realize like something clicked, like an entrepreneur type energy where they're like, oh, I can make money doing this. Or like they got like a job offer or something that they didn't expect. Ace of Swords, yeah, new start. Communication, um, could be communication too, some kind of new start. Yeah, they're getting out of that nostalgic energy because the Six of Cups reversed. It's like they're not nostalgic anymore. They're coming forward, but they're just coming forward with the balance. Anything else you want to say? About ah! Club's parents. <laughs> Do you guys like my little scream there? They were hesitant at first, but now they, they want to come in loyal. It could be someone that you've gone to a club or party with or something about clubs, parties, some kind of social event. What else do you want to say about this? about this energy yeah they've had to pause and reflect and rest that's that like energy it's like they they're coming in slow but they're they are coming in it's like steady yeah they've been making themselves sad and they're realizing that they've, they've been the cause of their own pain they're realizing it's not your fault that they've been the one sabotaging they've been the one pushing this away like they're starting to realize like there's no reason to distrust you this is just their own yeah the truth is coming out the truth is coming out seeing this in a different light you could have new love coming in as well and they might be thinking like i better hurry up i better hurry my ass up <laughs> or it's also just like renewed love like in like a new phase in your relationship and kind of taking it slow and working on these and they're ending this pattern so it's it's good energy like they are finally ending this pattern yeah they've been prideful and stubborn in the past but now all that, they're like, they're, this is the kind of person like they want, like when they want something, they're like, they're set in their ways. They're stubborn, but it's like now they're being stubborn in the right ways. Whereas before they were being stubborn is like, oh no, I can't trust this person. Like I'm like making excuses. And now they're being stubborn in the sense that they're like, I'm going to be loyal to this person. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to, this is going to be stable. Like they're, they're being prideful and stubborn in their pursuit of you in their pursuit to like make this right. There's that clubs and parties card again. Hmm. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yeah, someone's coming forward. They're getting past that confusion and uncertainty. Ah, oh, God. I don't know why I'm making such weird little noises today. I swear. I don't know what's wrong with me. They're nostalgic. There's, okay. I guess we're taking that card. Let's find out what it is. Come to me. Come to daddy. Love offer commitment. I like how it fell on the ground. It's almost like they don't want you to know that they're going to come forward with this love offer, but they are. They're like low key thinking about it. Like they're still a little suspicious. They're like, what if I really shouldn't trust this person? <laughs> but like, so it's like they're wanting to make this love offer. But like, look, he's like hiding the rose from her. It's like she knows it's there. Like she knows he's about to offer this rose and offer this love, but 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 he's like he's hiding it so this is you right now you're just kind of waiting you're like are you gonna give me this rose or what like are we gonna do this <laughs> can you hurry your ass up <laughs> let's do it give me the rose give me that rose yeah divine intervention synchronicity your guides are pushing them to stop being stupid too They've been manipulated and deceived in the past, but now they have a new perspective that the divine has brought into their lives. So they're, they're starting to listen and understand and realize that this is past energy, that this isn't their future and that they need to leave that baggage in the past. 
you know, you can't ever leave, like fully leave your bags in the past, but they're, they're coming for it. They're, they're, they've got this rose and you know, they have this rose. It's just a matter of, of if and when they're going to finally give this rose to you. So if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe, like, share. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. My PayPal link is right below. And if you want me to look more in depth into this situation, I do private readings. My email address is in the description box. Thank you.